Guitar Jams, this is Papa Stash, and yes, it's back. And why would you shave such a stash, one might ask. Just imagine, 100 degrees outside, go home, get your sister's earmuff, and just put it right on your face. That's why. It's hot. But it's glad to be back here in the fall. Hopefully it won't fall off. Hopefully I can teach you some more string skipping metal riffs, because that's what I'm paid to do, yeah! All right, let's check it out and see ya. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to break this up into two parts, a tapping and a string skipping. Let's start with a tapping. It's the easiest part. I've already done a lesson on tapping, but I'll just go ahead and review it. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this finger, your first finger of your picking hand does the tapping. So what we're going to do is we're going to hammer basically with this and then pull off to a fretted note with this hand. And then while that note's ringing, you're going to use that sustain to hammer on another note and then you just repeat it over and over so what we can do is I'm playing with a lot of gain here so what you want to also be mindful of is I, I sometimes I'll put this hand down to kind of guard for a lot of extra string noise when you're playing with higher gain it's easy for the string noise to get away from you So what I'm doing is I'm just moving this tapping finger over different frets in the scale. While I'm doing the same hammer on and pull off with this hand here. You could do a, a slide. So what you're doing there is your hammer on, slide, slide back and pull off. So you're just going over the different notes in the scale. In this instance, we're going from 12, 14, 15, 17. Now you can also pull off and do different pull off runs with this hand. You don't always have to just do that kind of deal. You can pull off and pull off to an open string. So what I'm doing there is I'm tap, pull, 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 hammer, hammer. Let's do that slow. So that's the tapping. Now what we're going to do is we're going to incorporate the string skipping. So on this, I'm going to go on the four, uh, the sixth. I'm sorry, sixth, seventh, and ninth fret of the G string, and then I'm going to grab this uh, seventh fret of the D, and then I'm going to go down to the high E. And this is where the string skipping part happens. We go from the G, skip over the B, down to the high E. And that's going to be five, seven, nine. Now, you don't always have to pick this ninth fret of the G string. You can hammer it on, on, on your descent. Or you can pick it. All right? So I'm going. Now all I'm going to do now is I'm going to mix up the run a little bit and throw in the tapping we were just doing. So I'm going to sneak in a little note here on the 12th fret high E. Thank <laughs> you. 
Also throw in that slide run. Make up your own runs. Do, do you know mess with the tapping? You can do it on all sorts of different strings. You know you can do. Uh, they don't always have to follow the scale. You can go outside of the scale and just practice this. So let's do uh, eight seven five eight seven five eight seven five all the way down the neck, and we're gonna tap on the twelfth fret. And just, you know, mess around with it. You can tap the open string. You can keep this tapping finger in the same spot and move around. Same thing with the string skipping riff. You can move that all over the place. That, that riff I just did is just an A. So you can throw that in, you know, just wherever you want in a metal song, because that's what they do. They just throw in awesome riff like that just because you can. You know, that's the fun. <laughs> So just mess around with it, incorporate all these different techniques into your style. I hope this helps out a little bit with the metal. They just, you know, they basically base a lot of the stuff between real, like A minor and blues scales. Guitar Jams, Marty, check it out, subscribe, become part of your life. All right, have a good one, you guys. See ya.